Your attention, please. Part two of the public address tutorial is starting now. Welcome back. Once you have at least one page station, real or virtual, properly wired to your PA router, you can start to configure your PA settings. Now, most of this is gonna take place in the QSYS administrator. So if you haven't done so already, you need to take the administrator tutorial before you proceed with this. You're going to have to be familiar with creating commands, users, uh, loading audio files to the core, those sorts of things. Now, we have already loaded our design to the core, so let's launch the administrator. The top three tabs are all dedicated to your PA system. You have PA global settings, page stations, and PA zones. Let's start on PA zones. A zone is simply the destination area where you want to send your page or message. You'll remember that we set up two zones in our PA router, and they're listed right here. You can rename them something more accurate than zone one and zone two. Maybe this will be lobby, dining room, gate 59. For me, I'm going to label them left ear and right ear. Ear. And yes, I'm talking about your ears. Hopefully you're listening to this with some stereo loudspeakers or headphones so that you'll be able to tell the difference when I send a page to zone one or zone two. Make sense? All right. So like other areas of the administrator, you can create tags that can be used to associate different zones together. That'll come in useful when you create your commands, which we could do right now so we have something to work with. Let's go down to our commands tab and you'll see that when you have a PA system set up, you have two new options when creating commands. Add PA page command and add PA play message command. Let's create a couple of play message commands. You can give it a name, choose a numeric code that will launch it and select which audio file it will play. I loaded some messages to the core earlier, so I'm selecting one of those. You can select as priority, which we'll discuss in just a minute, and you can add or subtract gain to the message. And then you select where it should be sent to, using the zones you've created or one of the tags to quickly select multiple zones. Once you're done, hit OK. So I've got one message that will play to your left ear, and I'm going to make another one that's going to play to your right ear. If I hit the update button in the administrator, these changes will go live, and I can activate my commands from a page station, like this, left ear, or like this, right ear. Creating a page command is very similar. Click add PA page command. Most of the options are the same, except you can choose its queuing mode, which we'll talk about in the next section. And you can select a preamble, which is usually some sort of musical tone to announce the beginning of a page. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Do, 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 attention please, that sort of thing. You'll remember that you can upload your preambles to the preambles folder in the core using the audio files tab. And here you can audition it to listen over your computer loudspeakers. Do, 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 attention please. Yep, that one's mine. All right, let's hop up to the PA Global Settings tab and talk about priority. Now, priority is a number that determines which page or message is most important if multiple are being played simultaneously. Now, by default, there are five priority levels with some pretty generic titles, with one being the most important. You can rename them to suit your purposes. You can create as many levels of priority as you like by hitting the plus button. You can reorder them by dragging them around or by nudging them up and down with these arrows. And you can delete them by selecting one and pressing the delete key. You can then assign a priority level to every page station, every user, as well as every command in your design. But what if you have a priority one user that issues a priority three command from a priority five station? Which priority is going to be used? Well, the priority that's recognized in any given situation is determined by the global priority mode. There are two options, station user priority or command priority. If you use station user priority, then a command receives the same priority as the page station it is sent from. So if you send a low priority five command from a high priority one station, it will be treated as priority one. Now in command mode, it's the command's priority that is recognized, so it would be treated as priority five. However, in either mode, you can set up a station, user, or command to have override authority. So, we're in command mode. We can have any page station set to override command priority level. We'll change that to yes. And then you determine what its priority level will be. So now, even though the system is on command mode, any command sent from this page station would take on the priority of the page station. You could also set up a user 
to have override page station settings turn to yes. And then you could override the command priority level as well, and choose this user's priority level. That way a particular user could always have a high priority regardless of what station or command he's using. You'll notice that you can also limit which commands a user has access to. If you select yes, you can choose which of these messages they're available to announce. Finally, if the system is in station user priority mode, then you can configure a command to have override source priority set to yes, letting that command always keep its own priority. Let's take a short break here, and when we come back, we'll talk about queuing, which is what happens to all those lower priority messages that have to wait to be played. Feel free to move on to the next section whenever you're ready.